is Xcentivit here, and today is going to be yet again another door closer update. Why am I doing it? Well, it's not because the door closers have changed, it's actually the door hardware has changed. So, it's mainly on this door with the tell, but we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so the tell is normal, nothing's really changed with it, it's still the same. Um, haven't really touched it in a while. But the new hardware is that I, it, um, you know how I said, um, this door is technically, a, um, not a latching door, it just closes, and I thought it was because of the fire alarm wire? Well, that isn't actually the case. Um, I was playing around with the door latching stuff, and I have no idea why it's not focusing. There we go. And, turns out, whoever installed this door did not install it correctly. So this is why this door is never latched. I guess I didn't pay attention to it when I was younger and did not have this fire alarm system up. But apparently this door just couldn't latch. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this started. And let me turn on the light right out here. So what happened is on the little latch plate, I guess you would call it. What happened is that they mounted it way too high, the plate, not the hole of the plate. So you can see it was up there. And so apparently over time it's been scratching it and just sitting right here so it couldn't latch. It wasn't the fire alarm wire. So now it's able to, I just moved it down a bit and now it's able to latch. And I don't, I didn't notice that this was here. So I kind of don't like that. I didn't even notice it. So anyway, um, and we might actually have to adjust the tail because it kind of, it doesn't slam, but it goes a bit fast, and it's not focusing, there we go. So let me go ahead and demonstrate it for you. Um, it, it might be a good speed, but we can play around with it. I feel like the sweep's a little too fast, maybe because the temperature's changing since it's getting to spring, or it's because we had the AC on. Um, I mean, it's not leaking, but still, you might need to adjust it. The other new door hardware device is this little door stop down here. Um, originally when my house was built, we had these everywhere, but um, one year we replaced all the hinges and um, handles, and we took the, all of these out, but all, all the doors have them, and we replaced them with those door stop things up there. So, since my door stop broke, I actually was looking around in my garage, or not my garage, um, I was thinking about one of the hinges. I actually found one of these still on a door in a storage room, so, or near a storage door, and this was kind of in the background, I guess no one noticed it. It's gold, but it's okay, so it's back up, and it stops the door, so I don't have to use one of these little door stops as one. So I have three of them, as you can tell. So <laughs> kind of made like a little pyramid out of them. So let's see how the door looks. I'm so used to doing that. See how the door looks right here. As you can see, it's not going to hit there as it always has. Um, I, I like how these are designed because you're supposed to put them low. And I think there's, on doors, there's like a wooden frame, I guess, inside. So I don't know. Anyway, let's do this one more time, then we'll go ahead and adjust it. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and I guess I'm definitely adjusting the sweep because that's a bit too fast. So I'll go ahead and get my little trusty screwdriver and we'll slow down the sweep a bit. Alright, if I can find it. There we go. And I'm sorry it's not focusing, it's just my camera's being weird. Alright, let's slow, I slow down the sleep a bit. And that actually is a good speed, in a matter of fact. Let's do that again. That's a good speed, I'm gonna keep it like that. So sorry it's not focusing, I'm not sure what's up with my camera today. And I don't need my cover just yet. All right, so now let's do the latch. So let's see something. Okay, so I'm assuming no matter what, it will latch. We'll go back to the speed. I'm just curious if any other speeds, speeds, and well, I guess that's, all right. Let's just do it fully again. 
All right. A bit too fast. I'll slow it down some more. Um, let's see how this is. Yeah, that like it won't latch, but that it will. Um, I'll speed it up a tad, I guess. Let's try now. Yeah, I think that's a good speed, honestly. Well, let's see if we can slow it down anymore. Actually, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna slow it down a lot. I'll just let's just see. Out of, just out of curiosity. Alright, still that same. I'm going to speed it up because I think the only thing that will happen is um, that I, it won't always latch. So I'll just speed it up how it was originally. Let's try this. Isn't it, This isn't the original speed, but I'm just curious. I'll just keep it at that. Why not? Yeah, it's fine. Um, so I guess that closer's just been adjusted. Which is good. Um, so just for fun, I'll show you the ultra closer. Nothing's really changed about it, but I did figure out something. So here's the ultra closer yet again. And still squeaking. I don't like that. It's not the hinges, guys. I'm serious. It's the closers. Oh, hit my camera. Uh, something, another rant about this is I've noticed the cover likes to fall, it likes to fall off. Like, it'll just sometimes fall off. Sometimes it'll do that. I'm not really sure why. It just likes to, though. So. And another update. I figured out why it's not latching. It's because when I mounted this, I put the bracket too close to the closer, so it's kind of like a bit of a binding. But it's okay. It's not like this is a door like my main door. So, oh lord, oh my gosh, well that just happened. Well guys, I got some good news and bad news what just happened. Um, and if you're knowing me, if you guys are like me, then let's go ahead and get the good news out of the way, I guess, just to get our hopes up. I don't know. So, let's look. It's back up, and I don't know if you noticed, but it's higher. I moved it up higher, as you can tell, these were the old holes, and I moved the bracket over a bit. It's not squeaking as much. Um, it actually looks better. It's a little bit easier to open. Um, the hold open is better than it was, and it's not, the arm isn't drooping, well, kind of, but not completely, and the best part of all of this, it latches perfectly. So I'm going to take back what I said about the bracket, because I thought that was their fault, but it was because I mounted it, like I was saying, way too close together. And used to would make a big popping sound when it would go in a hold open, or when you take it out of hold open. Now listen, nothing. It's completely silent. So only squeaking there is is when you open it. But used to would go like ar, ar, ee, ee, ar, and all that. So now it's back, and I think it's gonna be staying here. Actually, hope it'll stay like this. And the bad news, I gotta fill these holes. Nothing is bad about this closer. Same speed, same everything. So, anyways, the guys, I guess that is basically it. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I guess I'll see you guys in another video.